My dream job would definitely be working within the space industry. Um, my passion for it started, you know, kind of young. What I love about space is that we don't know everything. That idea of the unknown is something that I love. I mean, and as a communicator, to be able to explain those things to the public is something I find very interesting and complicated enough terms that people aren't um, being lost in what you're saying. And so I think telling the story and the current events of space exploration is, is really cool. Hi, Megan. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Hi. It's great to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. All right. All right, Megan, let's go take a look up here and I'll show you the mock-up of the space station. Basically, we have a one-to-one -one model of what's actually up there in space all down here and we mm -hmm. use that for our training. Very cool. All right, Thanks. let's go. <laughs> hey. All right, what does it take to be an astronaut? Well, I think one of the really cool things about getting to be an astronaut is that everybody comes from very, very different backgrounds. For me, it was all about just really pursuing my passions in both space, but also in biology. So we have a real diversity of backgrounds, experiences. Um, right now, about half we have about half of the astronauts have come from the military backgrounds, mm -hmm. and then half are civilians like myself. What I have my eyes most on is our International Space Station missions. All this stuff that you see around you here, that's our current mission that we're actively working on, that we're supporting, uh -huh. that we're collaborating internationally you know, with the Russians, with mm -hmm. the Japanese, with the Canadians, and with the Europeans. Yeah. And so that's an, this extraordinary research opportunity that we have. These were some of the first modules launched, and so we'll take a look inside here. All right. So we have to prepare and practice for all those scenarios to make sure that these are really just memorized responses. Mm -hmm. If an alarm goes off or if the ground calls up and sees something and we need to respond to this emergency, we spend a lot of time training on these very specific procedures so that we know that we're doing exactly what we need to because of course our lives and the lives of everybody on the space station depend on it. Yeah. It was really cool for me because I've never been in the spots that make, I guess, space happen. Well, this is, um, again, the virtual reality lab. We train uh, the astronauts here to do uh, spacewalks uh, using an immersive environment, which is called virtual reality. So if we need to do a mission where we need to land in another planet, we can definitely do it. Come this way. Uh, I'm going to put it on, okay. and you're going to be flying around station, and you can definitely use it. <laughs> I am seeing uh, the International Space Station. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly which part, um, but I am floating and it is, it is really cool. And down below, you can see the Earth. Hi, how are Hi. you? Good to, good to see you, Megan. Thank you. Welcome to the Systems Engineering Simulator. It's gonna look very much like what the cupola looks like in real life. You'll see control panels around you, and we'll have this out-the-window view that is simulated because we're inside of a dome, kind of like in a planetarium. Uh -huh. And we have images projected out on the dome that makes you feel like you're actually in outer space. I never thought that I would um, be able to experience a little bit of what uh, an astronaut goes through for training. Uh, you know, getting to see uh, two different virtual reality uh, simulations. It was was phenomenal, you know. So it sounds like over your two days here you've had a pretty unique opportunity to kind of see it from all sides and maybe glance a little bit into what it's like for our training. What's it, what's it really been like for you? It's, it's been really fantastic. You know, well, I wasn't there, but I experienced it, and this is what it kind of feels like, and here's how um, it's different than you might imagine it. I think that's one of the most unique and exciting parts of our job is that we're doing something different every day. <laughs> it's, it's just really difficult to believe that something that you've wanted, a childhood dream since you were five years old, could actually come true. You know, I'm not sure what the future holds for me, but definitely, I mean, 110% NASA would be a fantastic career opportunity for the long term. Well, thanks so much for coming here. Thank I you. hope you had a great experience and learned a lot here at NASA. And Hopefully it's been an exciting time for you. 
It has. Thank you so much. It's, it's a really great experience to learn all of what you're doing, um, and it was a really a fantastic experience for me as well. All right. Thank well, you. good luck with everything. Please let us know if you ever need anything in the future. I wish Thank you the you. best. Thank you so all much. Right, take care. <laughs>